This is Jesus Manuel Menagarza. Hope you're doing fantastic. Wherever you're at, it's a warm day here in Fort Worth in about a few days here. I'll be uh, taking my travel trailer to New Braunfels, Texas to do some uh, camping along the Guadalupe River. And uh, of course, we're all concerned about the price of petrol, the price of gasoline in uh, the United States of America, uh, mainly due to uh, uh, the Russians, uh, Russia's uh, war against the people of uh, Ukraine, okay? So, I've heard of both sides of the story regarding Russia and Ukraine, and I'm not gonna go over that right now, but uh, I'm not a big fan of Russia, to be, to be honest with you, okay? So, let me get my little uh, teleprompter right here. And today's uh, AAA national average for the price of gas is $4.32. That's pretty pricey, don't you think? And of course, uh, today's AAA Texas average is $4. And uh, that's not too bad. That's it. So we're uh, 32 cents less than the national average. Of course, if you go to California, you know, just add another 50 cents to a dollar. It's pretty expensive. And in certain exclusive areas like Cormel, along certain uh, isolated areas on I-5, it's going to jump up dramatically. So... Uh, a month ago, the price of gas was $3.15. That compares to $4 right now. So it's gone up about $0.85 cents in one month in the state of Texas. A year ago, uh, today, it was $2.60. $2.60. So I was planning a trip, of course, as you very well know, in June to uh, visit family and friends in California and do some mooch docking, boondocking, and uh, camping along the way in northern uh, Texas, uh, northern central New Mexico, and then Arizona, and then southern California, do some mooch docking there too, and then visit family in the Bay Area, and then to look at stuff up uh, north in Chico, Arcata, and Redding. But that's going to be expensive. That's a uh, about 4,400 miles round trip and getting 50 cents, maybe now 55 cents a gallon, it gets a little bit pricey. So I've been rethinking the path that I might be going. I know a lot of you say, you only live once. Spend that money, but you know, you only live once and uh, I do not want to live in a hovel by spending too much money. <laughs> So, uh, but uh, in a few days, I'll be going down the road here. Uh, one person was talking about, you, you know, take those short trips. It's very inexpensive. You only, it's, uh, it's not that much for gas. But you understand, a short trip in Texas from here to New Braunfels is a three to four hour drive. Okay, that's a short trip. Okay. And, uh, you know, the price of gas, you know, $4, maybe tomorrow will be 4 10 by the time I come back, might be 425. It gets a pretty expensive, okay? So I just want to talk about the price of gas. Hope you're doing fantastic wherever you're at. What do you think about the price of gas? Is it gonna curtail your plans for uh, the upcoming months, you know, March, April, May, summer months, et cetera, et cetera? Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. I would greatly appreciate it. And if you have the time, please leave your kind. And super, super fabulous, super brilliant, absolutely genius uh, remarks below. Muchas gracias. Don't forget to leave them below. Abajo. From Fort Worth, Texas, thinking about the price of gas. Are you thinking about the price of gas? Everybody's thinking about the price of gas. It's a horrible situation. Of course, even more horrible is a situation for the Ukrainians. I'm thinking about them and they're in my thoughts and hopefully they get a peaceful resolution in that region of the world. I don't think the Ukrainians deserve what they're getting right now from the Russians. The Russians, I feel, and again, you may feel different, you may feel absolutely different, but I think the Russians are the bad guys, okay? From Fort Worth, Texas, this has been Asus Manuel Menagarza. Gracias. Adios. Bye-bye.